What's up everyone, Alex here. A few years ago, Persona 4 Dancing All Night was released on a Vita to critical acclaim. Thanks to some stellar remixes and some clever gameplay hooks, P4D celebrated Persona 4's music in the best possible way. Imagine my surprise when Atlas announced not one, but two follow-ups to P4D, this time featuring the music of Persona 3 and Persona 5. With Persona Dancing Endless Night Collection, not only can you get the PS4 version of Persona 4 Dancing All Night, but also Persona 3 Dancing in Moonlight and Persona 5 Dancing in Starlight all in one package. Is it worth shelling out for the whole thing? Put on your dancing shoes and find out, as we review Persona Dancing Endless Night Collection hours later. While Persona 4 Dancing All Night revolves around a mystery surrounding idol group Kanemin Kitchen, and, therefore, part of the original game's lore, Persona 3 Dancing in Moonlight and Persona 5 Dancing in Starlight is removed from being part of each respective game's storylines. The setup is practically the same. Each game's respective Velvet Room assistants brought their teams into Club Velvet to dance the night away. That's it. No extensive story mode here, just dancing to the music and the occasional social interaction. P3D and P5D's gameplay hasn't strayed far from P4D. You press the buttons as the star notes overlap their respective buttons, and hold notes if a star note has the letter H on them. From time to time, you'll see scratch or fever circles that spread out, which you can hit by moving the right analog stick in any direction. To unlock new songs, you'll have to play all the initially available songs. After doing this, a single song will unlock, which serves as a gateway to unlocking more songs. Keep doing this, and social events will start to unlock. Viewing each social event will unlock new costumes and outfits for your characters. There are roughly 24 to 25 songs for each game, which means you have almost 50 songs in total to play with between the two. Along with some of the original versions of each game's songs are several remixes that alter some of the song's styles and rhythm. Compared to P4D, the quality of these remixes seem to be a hit or miss. The most egregious offender is a song featured in P3D, which is a remix of Mass Destruction. The beginning of the song starts decent enough, but then quickly turns into a cacophony of percussion, vocals, and melody shortly after. That being the most extreme example, there are some standout tunes that pepper each game's playlist, and they're often remixes of the more popular songs for each game. Here's a few examples. Going even higher. Because we're talking about the Endless Night Collection, we need to talk about the PS4 port of Persona 4 Dancing All Night. P4D is an up port of the original Vita game. The character models and the quality of the movies reflect this, but they're not at all distracting, and only a discerning eye will be able to notice the difference. Unlike P3D and P5D, songs will unlock at random, depending on which songs you play. Playing a song to completion will also reward you with currency that can be used to shop for items and cosmetics. As mentioned earlier, P4D's story ties canonically with the original game and all the Persona 4 properties, which include Persona Q and the Persona 4 fighting games. The story mode is told through a visual novel-like manner, complete with voice acting and clever use of branching paths. It's a pretty lengthy story, but it's an entertaining one, and is a good enough excuse alone to cough up the additional asking price for the Endless Night Collection. As of this recording, P4D for PS4 is not sold separately. The story mode adds a tremendous amount of value to P4D that simply cannot be substituted by its sequel social events, and the way that those games unlock cosmetic items don't feel as fun or rewarding. What dampens my enthusiasm for P3D and P5D social events is knowing that, at the end of the day, or night in this case, that none of the events unfolding actually matter to the overall story arc of said games. I understand that it's difficult to try and squeeze these games into their respective game stories, but I can't help but think that there could have been a better way to handle the treatment of these games. Also, tying the cosmetics with the social events, which then tie in with certain milestones when playing, just isn't as fun as being able to get currency to buy costumes once they're available. Another feature that sets P3D and P5D apart from P4D is an optional PSVR mode. This mode is primarily used so you can see your character models in a variety, I'm doing air quotes here, of different ways, as well as explore the rooms of some of the main cast in later social events. Other than that, no, that's it. 
It would have been cool to be able to play the whole game in PSVR, but this is what we got. While P3D and P5D are available individually on PS4, it's well worth it to get the Endless Night Collection, especially because of the exclusivity of Persona 4 Dancing All Night. At $99.99, you get all three games for less than the total price of buying both games individually. Though they have some standout tunes, P3D and P5D's playlists just don't hold a candle to the consistency and quality of P4D, and the way you unlock cosmetics and songs in the former just seem arbitrary. That said, Persona Dancing Endless Night Collection is a great way to celebrate the music of all three games, and the collection is suited for anyone who's a fan of Shoji Meguro's music. It's also great to hear our favorite voice actors reprise their roles, even if none of what happens matter in the end. It's simply another opportunity to hang out with some of our most beloved characters in the Persona series, and to some, that's plenty enough. Thanks for watching this review! If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Then hit that bell icon to be notified of my latest videos. Also, follow me on Twitter at MyBacklogBattle for updates on upcoming videos, or to just chat about video games. Thanks again for watching, and have a wonderful gaming week!